Madiv versus Maev. None can escape my fury. Let the games begin. This is Pirate Rogue. Did I play him before today? Playing Pirate Rogue or something? Like not Caverns Rogue? For some reason, I remember that. I would generally not keep Doomsayer, but I'm gonna keep Doomsayer Act. Like, cause this is like this is really good against like two ones and. One one divine shield guys who's running squire from I remember. I'm gonna keep Doomsayer Acolyte here. Yeah, he mulligan first card, so it's not a quest rogue. I think my memory is right. I think we want to Doomsayer next turn. I'm still going to coin ping, I'm not that confident Doomsayer going off, as well as killing 1-1 one, one helps Doomsayer go off next turn. I want to Doomsayer now, like, I think he has Cold Blood in his deck, so 2 one ones and Cold Blood and Hero Power is like a break point. Yeah, yeah, he definitely runs Nog, of course, there. That's right, like, I remembered that card, too. I'm still leaning towards Doomsayer here, because he can play Shaku and stuff. His deck as a non-Miracle Rogue has many more 3 drops and I have a really good backlight on empty burn or on empty board Corsair doesn't need a combo, not on Corsair combos with the weapon I think Nossum had a Starfker Blue Apple emote. I used to have it, I took it out. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, if I remember, definitely my memory's coming back. He was wearing Firefly too. Like I thought he was a Caverns Rogue for a bit, the other game. Because of the Firefly. Are you drinking adult birch tonight? I think probably. I usually go up Friday night. If only I had one more mana for barrier valet. It's not gonna preload though. Like it'll pop. So uh, actually, I don't have, really have great moves here. I prefer ugh, the weird. I prefer develop over heal. Although I do have a blizzard turn six, but I could technically go blood mage. I like that more. This into blood mage. Unless we get something good. Blood mage arcane explosion immediately. That's pretty good. From what it looks like, I think we're doing it immediately this turn. Because he plays a 5-4, like, Nago Corsair, and we go greedy and just don't do it this turn. But also, we don't have anything else to do this turn. I guess I like, could Tempo Valet. Then if he goes Corsair, can throw Wicked Knife in the Firefly and have a 3-3 three, three and a 5-4, and from there, I'm in a very sticky spot. I don't have a target for Barrier Valet, but we'll see. I mean... I could just bear ping. I could still bear valley. It's like, yeah, if I had Archnologist in my hand, I would just not not use the explosion. It's just mostly just without having something else to do. That's good. I don't think it's great to just pass there. And if I am gonna play Blood Mage, I'm I think I'm gonna have to play the explosion as well. Like not just Blood Mage and pass. Yeah, yeah, this is what I thought. Definitely don't mind this line. Oh, that's such a good draw. Is it a good draw? Yeah, I like this. If this was ice block, I, I can maybe see like ice block pinging better, but not barrier ping. Because bear's gonna lose the secret next turn for valet anyways. So I like this. It sets up for blizzard with the trade. Just, you know, it's Two three on board. Oh yeah, he's running Finja package too. Question is, is I only have one freeze in my hand. Is it good to blow my blizzard this turn? The thing is, if I don't blow my blizzard, I'm single targeting down minions. I, my play would be either like I guess ice block valet maybe barrier valet. Perhaps. If I blizzard here, I can go barrier valet ping next turn. That sets up really good. Oh, he doesn't have a second warrior. 
We're getting very close to dying. I need to watch out for cold blood Leroy stuff. Even though I have uh, two valets. In some ways, I'm leaning towards barrier over block. Because I need to get down the barrier soon. Ice barrier? Valet? Ping? I'm gonna do, need to do double valet here. It's better anyways, even if I could get away with just one valet. Excuse me, you are on fire. Excuse me, you are on fire. I'm at 8, but I have 16 points of healing here with the two barriers and blocks. Mostly scared of, like, Uter secrets, I guess. Like, this is not a matchup where I'm scared of him getting ice block with Swash Burglar. I can win this matchup through just killing his board and healing. And, like, sticking Antonidas. But he did have a Valpine Slayer, I guess, a couple. Maybe. He had at least one, from what I remember. Let's see, he played Leroy last turn. Does that mean, what, his hand is... Prep backstab? Something like that. Oh, okay. He, his hand is probably not minions, I would say. He wouldn't play Leroy there. Or I mean, this is a minion, but that's different. It's more of a spell. Gonna trade here Frostbolt and play Ice Block or Frostbolt AI. It's better to play AI earlier. It's kind of scary though. I'm at 6. Let's not get too stupid. Because I can die to double of this right or something. Interesting. I wouldn't say probably plays Eater. At last, a worthy disciple. Okay, <laughs> that would have been scary. I'm like, hmm, is that gonna. I do like the extra Acolyte I developed playing Blizzard over Flame Strike. Oh! <laughs> that was surprising since I didn't even get a rank last time. Rank 1 Freeze Mage, and <laughs> I didn't even lose one game today for like two and a half hours. I beat the game.